So you want to be an environmental lawyer? Yes. I want to save the cute fuzzy animals and fish from evil polluters and corporations who care more about profits than the future of the earth. Look, I've been an environmental lawyer for 20 years and I haven't saved one. Hell I haven't seen any cute fuzzy things except what is growing in the refrigerator in the break room. I will take on the big polluters and call them to account for their insensitivity to the human species and Mother Earth which sustains us. There is only one of those jobs outside of the EPA and I have it. So you had better get used to defending oil companies and energy companies and real estate developers whose sole reason for being is to exploit the earth so they can make more money to support their edgy children's tuition bills to expensive private schools where they learn to be the corporate leaders and politicians of tomorrow. I don't want to work for the EPA because I don't trust government and I want to make large amounts of money so I can donate to organizations doing research to protect animals. I will be in a private firm that represents people who want to save the earth. You're not very bright, are you? Anyone who wants to save the earth doesn't have enough money to pay a lawyer to do it so you will have to be a pro bono lawyer which means you won't get paid and will be forced to live in a cardboard box under a bridge. Your only real choice is to represent developers and large corporations. But they won't hire you unless you work for a large firm and you can't work for a large firm unless you have no social life and only want to pillage the environment for money. Besides, I don't want you competing with me so I will make insinuations about your sexual history and your inability so that no one will hire you. Then I would sue you for defamation. You'll never know it happened. You just won't be able to find employment for some unspecified reason and you won't know why. I don't need a large law firm. I will start my own out of law school where I will take only clients who are good and want to save the earth and who are kind to their pets. It's nice to know you are already crazy and probably have a therapist. You have a leg up on the other lawyers who get there eventually. Most of your clients will take up large amounts of your time telling you their life stories and not paying you for that time because they have watched too many movies starring Aaron Brokovich and think that all environmental attorneys work on large difficult cases for free and deliver their clients fat checks. You haven't shaved and your suit smells vaguely of Chinese food. That was non sequitur. That means it doesn't follow in Latin. You might learn that in law school if you ever manage to cheat your way in. I haven't been able to shave because I am involved in a case defended by a large manufacturing company that has poisoned an entire neighborhood and they have sent me discovery requests that are designed to make my life a series of meaningless reviews of documents and objections. I haven't been able to leave the office because the responses are due in two days. The judge was an insurance defense attorney before he was a made a judge by the pro-business governor and he thinks all plaintiff lawyers are lying idiots and that the salt marsh and the river are corporate profit centers. So I have been eating takeout Chinese with so much coagulated fat that I may have a coronary by age 42. How old are you now? 42. But you are going to make that corporation pay for hurting the marshes and the rivers and you will get large damages against them and they will pay your attorney's fees and costs. They will learn their lesson and you will be the hero of songbirds and brook trout. Did someone drop you on your head as a child? Corporations don't learn even when they do lose, which is rare because most of my clients cannot afford to pay for the costs long enough to reach the end of the case which can take years and over a hundred thousand dollars. Most judges were English or political science majors and don't know or care about the environment because they represented developers and companies before becoming a judge. But I have an undergraduate degree in biology. That explains why you are unemployed and thinking about going to law school like every other student who got a liberal arts degree. I'm not unemployed. I am an intern at an environmental organization that advocates for sensible environmental change. I stand corrected. You are not unemployed, you are an ideological slave. I will use my valuable internship experience to get a job in a large law firm that wants to start a practice in environmental enforcement. Large law firms don't want to enforce the environmental laws. They want to be profitable. That would conflict them out of representing the large corporations which pollute and can pay you to help them pollute. I will save dolphins, whales and migratory birds by representing the good side of the environment. When the other law firms see what meaningful work I do they will want to change their practices and will want to hire me to run their new department saving the world. I hear they do a lot of drugs in environmental organizations. 
That seemed like a non sequitur. But yes, they do. Why do you ask? Only because you seem to have partaken of more than your fair share. The big corporations and their large firms will not be able to make my environmental cases difficult, as I will call the EPA and the state environmental enforcement teams in and they will issue enforcement orders against them which will make my cases easier to win. I'm sorry I am having a hard time trying to reconcile something. I think you are normal looking and all, but you appear to be crazier than the old why no who pushes the shopping cart around downtown talking to himself about the apocalypse. If you call the EPA and the state to help you in an environmental case they will likely issue an order telling the polluter to clean up. Then the corporation's lawyers will appeal and throw so many associates they need to train into researching the law that the government lawyers who aren't paid enough for that kind of shit will pull out their hair. This will slow everything down to a crawl while the polluter reorganizes the company and distributes the assets to other holding companies so that only a shell remains and there will be no money left to clean up the pollution. Then when the EPA and state have taken whatever money is left, they will issue a consent order which says that everything has been cleaned up so that they can look good when they report to the ledges. Let me stop you there. You seem to be burned out and that is why I shall replace you as the best environmental lawyer in the state. The state and the federal government will be partners with me in saving the world. You may be right, but at least I have a job that pays me real money that can buy things like food and pay the mortgage on my house in the woods where I can pretend to be a Native American living off the land whilst leaving no visible impact. This year I was even able to afford to buy socks and put new vegetable fryer oil in my flex fuel vehicle. I will make money. You will see. I will find another attorney who works to save the environment to mentor me and make me an associate when I prove that I have the right stuff. Jesus. You really believe this shit you are talking? Any law firm that handles environmental cases for the green side will have no time to mentor you and will only pay you if you make money for them. They call this an eat what you kill arrangement. You will work at a desk in the library so you won't take up space that they can rent to someone who actually pays them money. You will work only on their files because you are so junior no one will want to pay to have you do anything but carry the bags. You will not be allowed to speak with clients because they will be afraid that you are so inexperienced you might say something that would raise the client's expectations and ruin the perfectly good losing streak. You will not be able to go to court except to argue over whether the objection to interrogatory number 39 was a valid exercise of the attorney work product privilege even though the judge ruled against you the last nine times you challenged the frivolous objection. Bitter. Much? Most attorneys are bitter. Bitter about the fact that they spent the best years of their lives parsing the text of legislation and regulations drafted by their classmates who became politicians and bureaucrats because they were too stupid to become doctors or engineers. The difference is that I am bitter and have a job, while you are a stark raving loony mad Pollyanna who wants to become a lawyer at a time in history when lawyers are ranked lower than used car salesmen and of the job prospects of a pedophile at a daycare center. I will make a difference and will speak for the trees. If you continue on this career path you will be speaking to the trees before long. Maybe I can use my law degree to run for political office and affect change in societal policy to promote sustainable development patterns and an energy policy that involves renewable resources like solar and wind power. First, the only party delusional enough to endorse you is the Green Party. You have that twitchy eye thing that they might like. But you bathe too often and don't speak in hip-hop rhyme. On the other hand you might look good in a beret. Of course, you will never get elected as a green candidate since they haven't garnered more than one half of one percent in any election outside of Germany. Even if you manage to get elected, the Democrats would find you too liberal and the Republicans might want to have you assassinated. Both parties are completely bought off by corporate money. Then I have much work to do. Good luck saving the baby seals.